Creating a new UCS. AutoCAD has two different coordinate systems called World Coordinate System and User Coordinate System. The World Coordinate System, or WCS, is a fixed coordinate system that all objects in the drawing are stored and defined to. The User Coordinate System is a movable coordinate system and is much more flexible for creating and editing objects. The user coordinate system can be changed by using the UCS command. To make it easy to create and use UCS, AutoCAD 2009 offers a number of options that can be selected from the view. Let's see how to create a UCS using the options. Three point. It allows you to specify a new origin for the UCS and designate the positive direction for both the X and Y axes. Here are the steps to be followed. Go to View tab and Three Point option from the UCS panel. Now the command line asks you to specify an origin point. Specify an origin point by selecting a vertex of the solid object. Now specify the X axis direction and Y axis direction. Thus the UCS is placed according to the selection. Let's see the next sub option. Face. It allows you to align the UCS to the face of the 3D solid. Go to View tab and click on the down arrow key on the UCS panel and select Face option. The command line asks you to select a face. Select a face on the solid object. Now the command line asks you to enter an option. Next. It allows you to select another face related to the selected face and places the UCS icon in different vertex points. X-Flip. It flips the direction of X-axis. Y-Flip. It flips the direction of Y-axis. Now press Enter to complete the selection of UCS. Let's see the next sub-option, Named. It is used to save and restore the commonly used UCS orientations by name. Type UCS on the command line and press Enter. Now specify NA and press Enter, or simply we can select it from the UCS panel in View tab. Enter an option. Restore. This restores a saved UCS so that it becomes the current UCS. Save. This saves the current UCS to a specified name. Delete. This removes the specified UCS from the list of saved user coordinate systems. Type S on the command line and press Enter. Specify the name as UCS1 and press Enter. Now UCS1 is saved. The new UCS1 can be restored whenever needed using the Restore option. Using the Delete option, the UCS1 can be deleted. Let's see the next sub-option. Object. It defines a new coordinate system based on the selected 3D object. The new UCS has the same extrusion direction, positive Z axis, as that of the selected object. For example, draw a circle using a world coordinate system on the drawing area. Type UCS on the command line and press Enter. Type OB to select an object option and press Enter. Now the command line asks you to select an object. Select an object according to the object. A new UCS is created. The next sub option is Previous. It restores the previous UCS. The program retains the last 10 coordinate systems created in paper space and the last 10 coordinate systems created in model space. Repeating this option steps back through one set or the other depending on which space is current. For example, go to View tab and on the UCS panel select Previous option. Thus, the previous UCS direction is displayed. The next sub-option is View. It establishes a new coordinate system with the XY plane perpendicular to view your viewing direction, parallel to your screen. The UCS origin remains unchanged. For example, Go to View tab and click on the UCS panel 
and select View option. Thus, the 3D View coordinate system is changed into 2D View coordinate system. The next sub option is World. It is a default option on the UCS command. It is used to show the default world coordinate system on the drawing area, i.e., it changes the UCS to match the world coordinate system. Go to View tab and click on the UCS panel and select a World option. The UCS icon is placed in an isometric view. The next sub option is X. It is used to rotate a UCS by specifying the rotation angle. By having X axes as constant, it rotates the Y Z plane. For example, go to View tab and click on the UCS panel and select X option. Type the value as 45 and press Enter. Thus, the plane gets tilted. The next sub option is Y. It is used to rotate a UCS by specifying the rotation angle. By having Y axis as constant, it rotates the XZ plane. For example, go to View tab and on the UCS panel select the Y option. Type the value as 30 and press Enter. Thus, the plane gets tilted. The next sub option is Z. It is used to create, rotate a UCS by specifying the rotation angle. By having Z axis as constant, it rotates the XY plane. For example, go to View tab and on the UCS panel select Z option. Type the value as 20 and press Enter. Thus, the plane gets tilted. The next sub option is Z axis. It is used to create a new UCS by selecting two points. One point is used to specify an origin point of a new UCS, and another point is used to specify positive direction of Z axis. For example, go to View tab and on the UCS panel select ZA option. Now the command line asks you to specify an origin point. Select an origin point and select another point to specify the positive Z axis direction. Thus, UCS gets changed. About Dynamic UCS Normally, drawings are drawn in the XY plane of the default UCS. If we work in a 3D modeling, we should create a separate UCS to change the drawing planes. The Dynamic UCS command is used to create a temporary XY plane on any surface of a solid component. While entering into a draw command, you align the UCS by moving your pointer over an edge of the face, rather than having to use the UCS command. After finishing the command, the UCS returns to its previous location and orientation. Let's see how to create a solid model using Dynamic UCS. First, create a solid model in the drawing area. Go to the status bar, which is placed at the bottom of your window, and click on the DUCS button. Note, you can press the F6 key to switch on Dynamic UCS. Now, go to the Draw menu, select Modeling, and click on the Box command. Now the command line prompts you to specify the first corner. Go to any surface on the solid model and click on it. You can see a change in the position of UCS. Again, the command line prompts you to specify the other corner to create a base sketch for the creation of a box on the drawing area. Specify the other corner by clicking the other point on the same surface. Now the command line asks you to specify the height. Type the height value as 5 and press Enter. Finally, we've created an object in a different surface without creating a new UCS. This is the main usage of a dynamic UCS command.